And Liz, you know, your organization represents more than 12.5 million workers. How have their needs or demands shifted during the pandemic? Yeah, and I just want to echo what iGen said, because coming out of the pandemic, work was seen differently and it was front and center where often, you know, in years past, we took that essential work for granted. Um, and so coming out of the pandemic, um, I think people are have a, more of an appreciation for what it takes to make this country move. And we cannot lose that. I think we kind of all get back to our daily lives and we get back to just, you know, thinking that our healthcare workers and our transportation workers and our grocery store workers that were absolute heroes through this pandemic um, are just back in place. And, you know, we're kind of getting back to quote normal, right? So we cannot take that for granted. And you're seeing that, you know, workers were told they were essential and then are now being treated as expendable, especially when we see, again, companies making billions of dollars coming out of this crisis that we've been in and not able to find um, enough money to give their their workers who got them through uh, a raise and um, continue to protect their health care benefits. So I think workers are, are, are really starting to see um, a shift in how work is being done, um, you know, making the, the safety a number one priority, um, clearly making sure people have the personal protective equipment that they need so that we're not, sh you know, fumbling around in an emergency trying to make sure workers um, are protected. And um, also the impacts of technology have, have changed the way uh, we work. And that's something the labor movement is looking at closely because we've tr made a lot of trade-offs coming out of the pandemic where workers want flexibility. Now, not every job can be done from home. And that's something I really want to emphasize that a lot of workers who are showing up every day, risking their own health and safety to get us through, those aren't jobs that you do over Zoom. Um, but we also know that technology has hastened the change in how work is being done. And also with those um, flexibility trade-offs come things like surveillance and uh, invasions of privacy that we really don't have a rule book for. And so I, I've seen the impacts and how um, you know companies are docking people's pay when their keyboards aren't active or um, taking pictures of them periodically to make sure they're sitting at their desks. And the only way that workers can have a voice in shaping how technology um, works in their work environment is by having the power of a union to sit across the table from an employer and negotiate how those impacts are materializing in their work environments. So we think this is the new frontier for the labor movement as technology, especially as changing our work environments. 